I went through my inventory to find a wallet from the Ukraine to show support and I found one. The Tactical Gear JU-17 is a trifle that honestly is a real EDC wallet. So what do I think about the Ukraine war? Russian KGB sneaky Putin shit. Yeah, I hope Putin gets his ass handed to him, honestly. Now made by Serhii Heritsenko, I love all that's going on with this wallet and will slowly add gear to this wallet during the review, so keep watching. It came in a plastic bag, but here is the wallet itself. This is a trifold. Open this up. This is a, by the way, a Coyote Brown. It also comes in black, olive, ACU, and woodland. Oh, look. Serhii, thank you. Best regards from Ukraine. That is nice of him. Let's open it up. It just came in a plastic bag, and so... Yeah, this is, Ukraine is beautiful. I'm sure it was, and I'm sure it is in several places. That was nice of him. Let's take a look at the wallet. Again, mentioned trifold. This seriously is a great tactical EDC type wallet. I mean, starting from the Molly in the front. We'll get into the specifics of this as we go along. But uh, you can get a feel for it right off hand. It is rather large than what we would expect for normal wallets per se but uh, the capacity in here what you can do helps make up for a lot of that and it's like a fine little easy wallet to look at so first let's look at the opening tab we have this tab right here that helps you grab it open it if you don't want to just grab it from the side to do that and of course you know we love velcro Loving that. And we have Molly loops. We have a Molly loop right here as well as right here. I'm not sure, you know, because of the size of this uh, dimension wise, what you could put here in the front, but I'm sure there's something. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, we have this little loop sided Velcro panel. I mean, it's great for patches. Look at all the different kinds of things you can put on here. Another way to customize your particular wallet and to make it your own. We've got two paracord eyelets right in here. Way to loop paracord through for a lanyard, uh, attaching it to something else, that kind of thing. Now, if we flip it over, we have an exterior zipper pouch right here. This zipper pouch is a YKK zipper. Uh, this is a parachute cord loops that we have right here from parachute cord. And we also then have an exterior ID slot. It enters from the bottom right here. So there's really no security method to hold, hold things in here. Items possibly could slip out. Just be, be aware of that. We zip this up, and if we get into the wallet now, we have this very large hook and loop Velcro closure right here. I like this for several reasons. I mean, if it starts to get full and big, then you can move your way up through the Velcro or pull it tighter. You're not limited to just a certain stri uh, stripe of this or strip of this, at which point then if you can't close it, you're out of luck. I like the width of this. We have a, another pocket right here. Again, for quick access to things. And if we open this up, I want to go quickly to two mesh pockets, one right here and another one right here. Now, with that being the case, we also have an interior pen slot. Grab a pen, put this right here. And this fits in. Nice to carry. I also have this. And this is a new little pen that uh, I've been working on here. And it is a bolt action. It's rather small. If you're interested, let me know in the comments that uh, about this. It is CNC and see if you're, uh, you want me to work on this more, give you more information. Now the, the elastic here can accommodate various different sizes of pens. The only issue is that when you close it, that uh, it does stick here in the fold. So if you have a larger pen, that might cause some concern because it'll make it bulge out more. Now if we open up, we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have eight card slots right in here. So let's get our cards in. Then right here we have four elastic slots. These slots are can be used for SIMs, memory cards, whatever it might be. I'll just flip in a memory card right there, so we have that stored. Sims would be great in here if you travel and use multiple Sims with your phone. And we've got, if we flip this over, an ID slot right here. We'll flip a ID in here, so this can be used 
Very nice. And I'm thinking of putting my multi-tool right here in this mesh area. If we get into the back here, we have a very generous billfold pocket. This billfold pocket provides a secret component right here. So again, you could put another card in here, uh, business cards, whatever it might be, and the billfold pocket here. So we'll put this cash right here. You'll notice that it fits all currency. The taller currencies are in here and there's plenty of room to spare. And then behind it, we have yet another pocket that goes in deep. I did try to put a passport in here. It's just too wide, honestly, to put a passport in here. But you could put additional cash, different currency. Uh, you know, we've seen wallets before where they have two, they have a separation in the billfold pocket area. So you can carry different kinds of cash. You could do the same thing here. So with that, let's fold this up. Let's we'll see how we do. And, uh, all right. Well, we did get quite a bit in here. We didn't get coins or anything in here. Hmm, let's see if we can do that. I'm thinking of coins and a key. So let's, uh, let's put this in here. There we go. There goes the key. And we'll kind of separate that out a bit in here. There we go. All right. This is an awesome tactical wallet. Uh, let's see what it weight or what it uh, measures. There we go, about 1.5, about one and a half inches right in here. Awesome. So put in the comments what else we could carry in this wallet and be part of really a truly daily carrier without making it enormously fat. It measures 4.5 by 4.2 by 0.9. That's empty and it weighs 109 grams. As mentioned, this is designed and made in the Ukraine. It's made from a waterproof Cordura fabric. Uh, this edge taping all the way around is done really well, very solid, excellent. All the sewing is precise. It's just uh, it's just very well done and well thought out in all the different things that this tries to accomplish. The price in this particular wallet is $36. You can't beat that price. Amazing for what you get. And even if this is a wallet that you just put things into, throw into your backpack, or your bug out bag, whatever it might be. I think it's a fantastic wallet for that just because of its durability and its flexibility and can carry. There really are no issues with this wallet once you've accepted its large size, which, you know, as a daily carry, it depends on how you carry. If you have cargo pants, maybe this works for you. So with that, now onto the final score. For quality of five, fantastic. Price of four, I mean, this is almost verging on a five. Features of five, so much going on here, so many things you can do with it, so many things you can put in it. Usability of three, works just fine. Perception of four, love what he's done here in building his business out of the Ukraine, which gives us a final score of 42 out of 50. Saudi's tactical gear store on Etsy is currently on hiatus due to the war, but please keep him in mind and submit inquiries so he knows we want him back and he has our support. If you like this video, please look at this one right here as well. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.